everyone how you doing it's Di here from Di's Dan and I would like to show you this beautiful card this is another card using the share the sun or share sunshine it's called not share the sunshine share sunshine sheets that you can uh, in the PDF file that you can download from stamping up um, I'm not sure the cost I think it's about 12 American dollars, which in Australia works out to be about $19 at the present time. Um, they are just absolutely gorgeous and all the money, as I said in my last video, goes towards helping with the research for the COVID problem. So let's hope that all this money goes to a good cause and we get a cure pretty quickly. So this card looks like a, a towel on a towel rail. That's why it's got wash your hands written on it and on the inside it has our thoughts are with you but I am going to use a different set because this set here that I've used is actually retired. It was this um, set called Thoughtful Blooms. So this was a celebration set so that's what I use for that and the flowers. But that's now retired so I'm going to use something that's not. So, um, and I thought I'd just show you my take on this. This is not my design. This came from a lady called Karen Cobb. Uh, she's a demonstrator, but I'm not sure what part of the world she lives in. I think it's the US, but it could be the UK. But I'm sure, for sure. So, now the sheet that this comes off of this time, I've already cut this out, as you can see. Uh, looks like this. Uh, um, it comes as one sheet. Um, and it comes with it coloured on one side and um, black and white on the other. So it says, "Wash your hands." Let's just roll with it. I'd be totally, I'd totally share my toilet paper with you. So that's one of the other sheets from that set that I've been using. So I would like to show you what we need to do to make this card. Okay, let's move that out of the way. So we're going to use the dandelion wishes for this sending well wishes your way um, stamp out of that stamp and I'm going to use the layering circles which is the second second size down in both the plain and the scallop so that's all, virtually all we need except for our pieces so our pieces of card are our card stock here is dandel uh, Daffodil Delight, sorry, and this is measures 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and 1 eighth. Now we need two layers, one for the inside and one for the outside, and they both measure exactly the same, which is 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. For the inside we need our second layer, which measures 5 and 3 eighths by 3 and 5 eighths, and our outside layer, which is this gorgeous paper, which is in the new catalogue and it's called, let me see, I can't remember the name, I'm just getting used to them, In Good Taste. Now I can't, sh don't know if I'm supposed to show you the whole lot, but it's absolutely gorgeous, it's got some absolutely lovely manly patterns in there. But I thought this one looked like bathroom tiles, so I thought I would use this one. So this piece is measures five and five eighths, no, five and three eighths by three and five eighths. You'll need a piece for your towel. Now this comes from the re that is going to be retiring on the second uh, of June, and this piece is from the Bird Ballad Designer Paper. And so as you can see, it's got beautiful birds on the other side. But we're going to use this on a stripe because it looks like a towel. And this measures two and three quarters by. Hang on, I've got it. Nine inches. Then we need another piece for our fringe on the bottom, which is matches two and three quarters by one inch. And somewhere around here I have a piece, which I don't know what I've done with now. Oh dear. Oh, it's on the floor. Come on, I'll pick it up. Oh, dear me. We need a piece of mirror card, silver, that measures one inch by three and a half inches. And then for the um, other circle, the scallop one, you need a piece of card that measures three and a half by three and a half inch square. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to use the the yellow or the Bermuda Bay 
in this one, Bermuda Bay, that's not Bermuda Bay, that's pool party. <laughs> so I'm not sure which one I'm going to use, so I've got the two there just in case. Okay, so let's get cracking. We're going to do our bit of scoring first. So we're going to, I'm going to do this piece first because what we need to do is we need to turn this over onto the back. And I've actually written the things on there. We don't need those on there anymore. So let's get them off. And what we need to do is we need to mark this at the half inch. No, half inch? I think it's half inch. No, I think quarter inch, quarter inch mark at that end and this end and draw a line. So we're going to just draw a line like so. That's our first thing we need to do on that one. And then we're going to just bring in our scoreboard and do all our scoring all at once. <clears throat> and we're going to pop this into the scoreboard on the short side oh i can't see sorry um i think i'm a bit closed in today and we're going to score this from that score line down to the other score line at the half inch mark so we don't want to put our marks on those other pieces so we just want our score line to look like that okay this piece we're going to score on the half inch mark as well so we're going to pop this in on the short side and we're going to score this at the half inch mark as well. And then we're going to pop our main card in on the long side and we're going to score this at five and seven eighths, which is the one mark just below the six on the scoreboard. That's all the scoring we're going to do. So what we're going to do, I'm going to fold and burnish our card. So that, that's all done and out of the way. And then we are going to get our pieces here and we're going to glue our tiles onto our other piece of card. So that's done and out the way too. Let's pop that out of the way and put this on here. Squish that down nice and hard and then put this onto the front of the card. This is another one of those quick and easy cards and I just think it looks very effective and again it's a nice card for someone who's not feeling well so I think it doesn't really matter which way up this, these tiles go. Depends on how you want them I guess. That's our front of our card. Oh, excuse me, a itch. So what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in our <coughs> piece that looks like our towel, and we're just going to run this through our uh, bone folder just to break the fibres a little bit and to make it so that it curls. And then we're going to put some glue about one and a half inches to two inches up, up the piece doesn't have to be really high and then we're going to glue the two pieces together at the bottom okay and that is our bottom of our card sorry my dog's barking and then I'm going to just pull this up here because we don't want all that height so we're going to just pull this up so that it's not quite as high and I've got a little bit of trimming to do there, so it's just a little bit off. That looks better. And that's the height we, do, we want this towel. So we're going to pop our towel onto the front of our card so that it sits, whoops, let's pop it into the picture, it sits like this. So I'm just going to trim this side. This one looks like it needs a little bit of a trim as well. And yep that's, that's better so we're going to pop some glue onto the back of this all the way down and glue this to the front of the card leaving enough room at the top and bottom for everything else that's got to go on here 
once you're happy with where it's centralised, just push it down, but without pushing it down too hard. So, there we go. So now we're going to get our piece of card that we've put this funny line through the middle and we're going to turn it over and we're going to cut along one of these lines that we cut on the side, we drew on the side and the other one and then we're going to cut it off at that piece through the middle where the line is. So our towel rail looks like this. I'm going to bring in my rounder, corner rounder and I'm just going to round the corners on my towel rail because I think that it will look a little bit better than last time with it being square and I'm going to then get some I have these long foam pads which I'm going to cut one in half oops and the bit come off the top never mind and pop on the side here and I'm going to pop the other half on the other side over here and just one full one in the middle Okay, so let's pop them out of the way, but that one's the one that's off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to thread this through here and push it up to the top so that it looks like a towel rail. Trying to get it as even as possible all the way up there. We can pop our fingers in here. And we've got our towel rail sitting on the top there, like so. Oh yes, that definitely looks better being rounded. Now with our other piece, which is our fringe piece, what we're going to do is we've, we've got the score line down the middle. And we're going to then fringe one end of this. So we're going to cut this in little tiny strips all the way along. Now I'm not going to do this all the way along, as I have already got another one done. But I will finish it off and... Guess who will get this one? Mum. So this is what we're going to do. So let's just pop that out of the way. <clears throat> and I'll show you what. We've got this one piece that's all fringed along this one edge. And we've got a straight edge here. Now, if you wanted to stamp something across there like I did in my first one, that there, that's fine. This time I'm going to put some ribbon on mine. So this is retired ribbon, but I'm going to put a piece of ribbon on here. So I'm going to put tape across the top and across the bottom in places whoops <coughs> that's not very smart was it and i'm going to pop my ribbon onto the back of them around here across the front and around to the back again and cut my ribbon off now that's going to look like it's got a little bit of stuff along there, so I'll just use my rubber, eraser, whatever you wish to call it, and take off the bits that we don't need, top and bottom. There we go. So that's going to go onto the front of our card, and that's going to sit here. So we're going to pop that on with some glue again. So we're going to go, go glue this, oops, let's pop it along the top and bottom, and through the middle there. <clears throat> and we're going to glue this onto here. Now, where the line um, fold is, uh, score line is, is where I've put it to the bottom of the towel itself. So this fringe bit actually hangs off the bottom. Just a bit wonky, it's not very straight, so let's move him a bit better. That's better, so. and that's our towel for the front of the card. Now comes my choice of whether I want to go that way or that way. I think the yellow, so we're going to go yellow. So we'll pop our saying, wash your hands, onto our yellow scallop circle and 
now is looking beautiful so let's pop that down and I'll turn that over like that and I'm going to put a couple of normal dimensions on the back and we're going to pop them onto the front of the card then let me turn my card around so I can pop it onto there and we're popping onto there oops that was come undone did I take the backing off that? Yes. Squish that down a bit harder. That's better. Okay, so that's the front of the card done. Let's pull my sleeves up again and we'll work on the inside. So we're going to just use some memento ink and we're going to stamp our sending well wishes your way. And I'm going to just stamp that into the middle of the card. And that's all the stamping we're doing because our other same was already stamped. Let's just, let's let that dry for a second and we're going to glue this to the, the other piece of card which is pool party and then we're going to glue that to the inside of our card to the inside of the card and that's the inside of our card done oh never mind and now I'm going to put some of these more of these faceted gems on but I wasn't sure which color but I think I'm going to go with the light Bermuda Bay um, and I'm going to do some of these medium sized ones so I'll do three of those medium sized ones to go onto the front I'm going to colour them like before and as I said these these gems actually retire on the, the 2nd of May at uh, June sorry and if you wish to get some beforehand they come in clear or gold if you wish to get some beforehand I would suggest that you get in pretty quickly because I'm sure that people will stock up because they're just so gorgeous and we're going to pop these onto the front of our card wherever we feel that they need to go I'm going to pop that one there so there we go I'm happy with that so that's my card for this week and this is my card from last week uh, this the one that I did it from thank you Karen Cobb for your inspiration for this card and Remembering that last week we did this card, which was using some of the other, I don't know what that is on there, um, other um, sayings from the Share Sunshine lot. Now I want to be, do a little bit of an update too. I actually did this card, excuse me for coming and going into the picture. Oh. Um, I actually did this card, I'll pop that at the back of the table, fancy doing that. Three, two, two weeks back and um, I, when my mum was up last week and we had a play with the new ornate garden set we had a go and I changed it up by rounding the edges on it all and I just thought I'd like to show it with you to you as I actually thought that this looked better than that <laughs> I mean this is beautiful, I love the square clean lines but I do like this oval and this paper makes it look really great. This is early espresso in the middle and it just makes the pictures actually really pop. So I just thought I'd show that one to you so that if you had a thought of doing this card but you wanted it to look a little bit more popped, why not round the corners and it will look so fantastic. So I just thought I'd show that to you. Sorry that's not even what we're talking about here, but still. And if you haven't seen that video for that, that was um, two weeks prior. So I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Again, let's get back on track. And if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you all. And um, I really think that 
this, these sets are great for helping out with the COVID problem. Let's hope that we get it all over and done with pretty soon. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.